So, heading home from the 50K um, guarantee in uh, Cincinnati at the Hard Rock. We play at the Hard Rock uh, usually, I don't know, once a month. Uh, played several times in the last few months. Cash in the main event that they had a while back. Went deep in the Mystery Bounty on day one and couldn't get it done. Um, back today for their 50K guarantee. It's a great structure. Um, I love good values. It was a $400 buy in, um, 30,000 in starting chips. Literally 300 big blinds to start. Uh, Annie's don't kick in until uh, 600, 1200, 1200. Uh, levels are 40 minutes long. So, a great structure. The Hard Rock uh, puts on great tournaments. Their room is well run. Uh, they just they do an excellent job with, with poker. Uh, 317 players started the day. And uh, not the result that uh, that we wanted, but uh, twenty six thousand to first place, and uh, the prize pool exceeded a hundred thousand. So great, uh, great turnout. Um, they had two hundred and seventy people for their Friday night seven o'clock, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, Saturday night uh, seven o'clock uh, tournament, two hundred dollars. So they're, they're really drawing players, lots of cash games. Like I said, well-run room. Um, not allowed to record in the Hard Rock, uh, with the exception of certain areas. So the Ohio Gaming Commission does not allow recording, streaming of any kind. Um, the poker people have tried uh, to get them to change their tune. They tried to run a stream for some of the final tables, and the Gaming Commission said no. So... Hard Rock uh, in Ohio, still not uh, quite able to record, but I did get uh, a lot of good notes on a lot of hands that uh, that I was in that, that took me as high as 581K is what I spun it up to tonight, uh, today. Uh, started with 30,000, one buy-in, spun it up to 581. Uh, the blinds were 10,000, 20,000, 20,000 when I was knocked out 19th. Paid 1132 um, after my expenses. Um, made a whopping $600. So not uh, not the result that we wanted. I was looking for my biggest cash to date. Um, didn't quite get there. Uh, a lot of good players. I saw several players with million dollars, you know, in, in earnings or more, um, especially early on. Uh, every table I was at had some, some very tough players, knew what they were doing, knew how to navigate a field, um, a chip stack, short or or um, or chipped up. Um, they they knew how to handle situations, so makes it uh, makes it good. To, to play against those type of people and um, yeah I just can't help but be disappointed I uh, went out on ace queen um, against pocket kings blinds are 10 20 20 I'm uh, I'm in the cutoff and the the uh, So I'm, I'm opening. Um, I opened to uh, I opened to 125 from the cutoff. The uh, the button and the small blind both fold. Um, the big blind. Uh, he's got about 200 and right at about 280. 5k uh, in his stack he rips it with kings uh, it's in the grand scheme it's not a lot more for me to call here 
he's got me, or I've got him covered by uh, exactly 37,000. So he turns over kings. We uh, we hit our ace with the ace of uh, ace of hearts coming. Uh, a three and a, and a and a four on the flop, and then the dealer puts out the turn and it's a king. And uh, night wasn't over with that hand specifically, but uh, we did go out on our next hand. So uh, took 19th place, 11.32, a little over $600 in profit after tipping the dealers. Tip your dealers out there. I'm tired of seeing people in the cash that do not tip the dealers. Uh, that's a pet peeve. Uh, I, I hope all of you out there know that uh, those dealers, uh, they, they put in a lot of time and they deal with a lot of headaches. Um, you cash, a little bit goes a long way for those dealers, so make sure you get into, uh, get into the tip jar uh, when you cash. That's just my opinion. Um, so, done for tonight. Played a little over 12 hours today um, before we went out. Uh, we win that pot you know the, the the funny thing is with with the dead money and everything was out there. It's it's over a it's over a six hundred thousand pot. Uh, put those chips in front of me, and and I really feel like I make a strong run to at least the final table. Um, learned a lot, as I always do, especially in these uh, deep field tournaments, uh, navigating especially early on. Um, we got down to the bubble, and, and I handled that very well, I felt. Um, chipped up. Uh, got my stack as high as 581000 So I really, again, I feel pretty good about how I played. Um, hate to go out on ace-queen for the most part, uh, even though I had chips left. We're, uh, we're seven-handed in that spot, and, you know, he, he's waking up with kings. It's just, you know, it's a cooler a little bit, especially after we turned, after we flopped the ace. So, uh, as always, learned a lot. Heading home, get some sleep. Uh, tomorrow night at the Horseshoe in Indianapolis. Uh, this will be Sunday, February 5th. Uh, we have the January... World Series of Poker main event seat shootout. So the top 10 points uh, from January are going to come together tomorrow to play a 15,000 starting chip, 20 minute level um, shootout. Blind started 100, 200, and um, we should uh, we should have a pretty good shot at this. Uh, played well all month, won the month again as far as total points. Cashed eight times in um, at the Horseshoe uh, in January, and uh, won the seat in December. So I'm, uh, I guess, if you want to call it, I'm kind of free rolling, especially with uh, with the money that I did win uh, throughout the month uh, in comparison to my buy-ins and so forth. So it's been a really good run the last three months. I've learned a lot. Getting better at tournaments. Um, just trying to get ready for the summer uh, that's coming up in, uh, in Vegas. Go deep in some of the events that, uh, that I'll play in. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't stress enough. I, I really... I really have been humbled so many times in, uh, in so many of these tournaments that you play in. Um, you know, you spend your stack up to 581 and it's gone in a matter of less than an hour, uh, you know, with, with how things go. So, um, all in all, great experience. Keep learning and um, we'll get there next time. So, Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Uh, I'm going to be putting out some hands uh, from the hard rock from the 50K that, uh, that I played in uh, here coming up. And 
continue to take you guys along on the ride uh, as we as we continue to navigate some of these tournaments and these fields that uh, that are just really full of great players. I I, I can't get over enough the, the parody in poker. Uh, finding more and more that people are really understanding where they're at, uh, whether it's in a hand or at a table, and, and, and kind of. taking their position on I feel like there's there's just there, there's more accomplished players now than ever Nolan Holden is really really growing um, popularity is just through the roof um, and what makes it fun is uh, you know all the people that you see punt on a continued basis in some of these tournaments I, I watched at least I, I, I can think of Probably, if not two dozen situations today where people just punted their chips and they didn't have to um, in spots that you know they were they were okay to you know to not do what they did. So, um, like I said, all part of the learning experience. Get to see other people's mistakes, and, you know, other people that capitalize on those mistakes recognize those situations um, you know it's all part of it so just want to get better and uh, be ready for some of those deep runs this summer you guys have a great night